here and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a double piston extender. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is it here, the double piston extender, it's really not quite big, it's a really small design, that's what I like about it, it doesn't include any redstone dust, it's really, really quite a nice design and you can activate it by pressing the stone button here and it goes down, up too. And back down <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, now after the showcase because I mean what is there to show observers pistons a lamp and blocks uh, uh, I'm gonna show you how to build the double piston extender and then I'm gonna show you some of the use cases of it and how to properly use it so guys these here are the items required for a completed double piston extender. So observer, sticky piston, two blocks of your choice, a redstone lamp and a stone button. Okay, so I'm gonna start things off here. You need only a two by one area. It's really, really small. Uh, you're gonna place a redstone lamp down on the bottom here and observer with the like spot here this thing right here facing outwards out of the uh, redstone lamp now you tower up with two observers they should go up then you tower up with two stick pistons and you place your two blocks on the top of them like so the stone button can go on whatever side of the redstone lamp it just needs to be on the redstone lamp you press it and it goes up what quick note guys you actually do not need two blocks you actually need one of them the other one which is the one that you push up and down and i said it's a block but it doesn't need to be a full block you can take stairs of course just like so and even you can take some slabs if you don't break your double piston extender like i just did so just I'm telling you this double piston extender can push every pushable block okay guys so now i'm gonna show you one of the use cases for this thing and if you were watching my videos you might already know what that thing behind me is and how i used it there so coming up here a bit closer this is my hidden staircase entrance as you can see it works flawlessly and this is the part where I used the double piston extender here as you can see lamp observers pistons blocks I actually use two of them and here you can see that you can use two of them next to each other yeah guys and one thing uh, if you don't want to have a button connected straight to it like here you want to have something similar to this where you have a button on the top and it connects down here uh, there is the one key thing that you need to follow so <clears throat> the design that i normally use is a button under the button we have a piston with a redstone block just and then redstone does going into it uh, like so as you can see works flawlessly and that is just because it needs to have a powering off and on it ne it can't be a lever where you, where you toggle the pause it needs to be a button because it uses both of the states of the lamp it goes on it got uses one pulse goes off and another one to retract it one thing it cannot be a button piston and observer because then it gives a one tick pulse which breaks the system severely as you can see like 
uh, it's sort of no, it doesn't work. Yeah, it needs to be ten tick pulses, which are pulses of stern buttons, or something around that. You add, I think, like one or two ticks when you have the uh, sticky piston right here. That's why, you, if you can see, it's a bit faster going straight from a button next to the lamp than uh, this here. But I think it's uh, manageable. So guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make and I actually was planning on making such a tutorial for a really long time. I think the double piston extender design right behind me while sitting in my testing world for over a year now, I just couldn't come and finally finish it. And I started using it in all of my designs without actually showing the tutorial for the base thing. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!